billionaire's row caught my attention so according to me billionaire's row was uh from g in palm jumeirah so there was this you google that <laughs> so the where <laughs> what's that where, where uh alpago villas no actually alpago villas i've been studying this for a while so there's this developer he he picked up these plots and he picked up even villas 60 million 70 million 75 million 80 million he would buy he completely demolish it upgrade it and sell it at 100 150 million approximately sold out yeah sold out so it's now on the market then where this particular section was being called billionaires row when i think in mr c residences a uh, penthouse sold for 132 million dirhams yeah so that really caught attention and i was checking projects in that particular location and boom <laughs> there's like a demag <laughs> everywhere there's a there's a demag everywhere that pop- anywhere i go everywhere i go there's a demag that i was studying maritime city boom demag you know <laughs> down down demag everywhere there's a demag you know you know i love demag so much uh, as a strategy right we are we know how to adapt we adapt very very easy yeah oh. we are the last launch of the canner row as per today okay okay so i got every single layer every single story every single strong and strong point of every single project on that that canner and right. i used everything in my project plus i'm very strong with the price i have to be and about the beginning i have to be okay now must uh, mr c why mr c was selling why was such a big high be- behind that we are speaking about the richest family in italy cipriani correct mr c is cipriani and that attracted again see that's very important started we're going to talk about demographic we started attracting european billionaires mm-hmm. yes so that's why see now that's the strategy of dubai right it's like I started seeing Euro- because European billionaires don't move they like yes. they're very happy the Italians you know this is something I've learned through my journey yes the millionaires come the very close to billionaires come but you know the traditional rich Europeans they have so they don't move and this is the case with every country you know whether it's India Pakistan for them to to capture their at South America Ooh, big money. market big market right to get attention of these we have i think dubai has been very successful to get grab their attention yeah so uh no i'm very happy that's why billionaires row it's creating a ripple yeah creating a ripple and i created a very beautiful product i have only 95 units as i told you who's, 90- who's buying these what's the demographic of people who are buying in at least in damak from your experience who are the who are the people who are buying these units um, the first buyer was an indian of course <laughs> <laughs> the second buyer was a japanese japanese now japanese taiwanese chinese i've been dealing with a few that's another very interesting yeah. market very interesting completely market completely different market and these guys are coming with big pockets yeah so yeah but they have big expectations they have big expectations of dubai like uh, i don't know if this people have seen i had this podcast with this japanese buyer so he was he's into developing um this particular app that checks your genetics and based on your genetics it'll tell you what you should eat what you should you know no the other day he was like uh, hey you know what i want to bring in more funds to dubai i want to bring in around 10 million dollars to dubai he, they are and he's like it's 10 million dollars now another 10 million dollars down the lane but i'm yeah. very very bullish about the buy this is i'm talking about their perspective the japanese again very very big market um i told you my first japanese client right he came with uh, 4 million to buy a ready property okay in marina ready okay. property marina okay. and now he bought two or three villas okay three villas and he said uh, just asking me about my project in marjan <laughs> like how come i convinced this guy to move so much money into buy you don't have to, you don't have to you don't have to stopping they are very happy people from uk they don't stop us yeah. japan now to to convince you to convince people in like europe south america you know to 
Mexico, I've been I've been looking at the Mexican market for a very long time to the extent where I started investing some of their product because unless you invest with them, they don't trust you. But these guys were convinced. But the let's say India, Pakistan, US, UK, Canada, Australia, Iran, you know, all these Japanese very powerful markets. They're they're just they, and now when the casino comes. Big move. It's a big game changer. Did you see that uh, it's become official? Officially, they announced. Oh yeah, yeah, I know. They signed the papers and everything. Like it's official. I checked that. It's official. It's yeah. completely official. Now, with mm, to open a little bit the Pandora box about Marshall Island, you look at the market. A lot of people right now say like it's overpriced. It's yeah. overpriced compared to what? To a COVID situation, everything is overpriced to COVID situation. It's overpriced with the strategy. No, the main reason. People started to consider rock besides the story of the casino, which is very big. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people are saying, what if casino will uh, will not happen? No, it's happening. They sign it. It's official. You have a very big lack, uh, lack of uh, land on the beach in Dubai. True. You don't have where to build anymore. Yeah, that's why I bought an island. <laughs> <laughs> you moved a little bit too far. <laughs> <laughs> the latest option... Yeah. They push again this maritime city, yeah. which is waterfront property, but not a beach property. Correct. They had to move further. So they moved to Sinia, and then now they're <laughs> moving to Majan. Um, I love my project in Majan Island. It's a beautiful location. It's a good location. I mean, it's the best location that anyone could have yet. You have only one side mm -hmm. okay so you have four big islands in Marjan island okay the residential island you have only one square the the first square on the right when you enter which is facing completely the casino completely okay, okay. and they have the plot in the middle of that mm. so i cannot do anything better than this plus all the units i have they're completely facing uh, the beach and the water Okay, yeah, it's a U-shaped turn. Some of the units, one bedroom, gonna have a linked view, gonna have a partial view towards, but I do have amazing views for two and three bedroom completely, like from the bed, you're seeing the first casino. So the location is very good. In the Gulf, uh, Gulf countries. I don't know, the location was very interesting. It was good. It That's was a good. good. And they will still stay very competitive with the price. We are waiting something around 2,500-ish, okay. more or less. Per square foot, which is still uh, I think competitive. that's the market right now. The yeah. market is at 2,500 in Marjan Island, right? Yeah. I think it went up to 3,000. Plus, okay. you have two types of clients there, okay. which are a little bit more obvious than Dubai. Okay. In Dubai, everyone calls himself an investor. You have uh, how much you have, uh, you want to spend 1 million. Max, Max, I'm an investor. You're not an investor. Yeah. You're a gambler. But the gambler came to Marjan Island. Right. Now, the thing is, the clients you're getting in Marjan for this kind of specific product, mm. either, you're, either you are a very big investor where they have a check for full floor, okay? So you're going to get with full floor, you're going to have a bulk deal. Five, ten units we consider bulk deal for okay. this kind of project, okay. okay? Or you are an investor as an end user. It you know, will not make any difference if you spend three million just to have a location for the weekends i've had buyers from marjan island uh from specifically from singapore hong yeah. kong canada u.s mm -hmm. because especially singapore and hong kong they look at dubai uh, 20 years before singapore is on the same track right today you cannot buy land in singapore it's yeah. too expensive to buy a town like for example to buy a violet townhouse Example, you're selling a two million room. For that property in, in Singapore, you're looking at minimum three to five million dollars. Yes. It's too expensive. Because of the plot. They cannot buy land. So they used to con condos, condominiums. So uh, I had a lot of buyers from these areas, you know. They're like, we believe in this concept called the moonshot in, in Marjan Island. So they believe the price will really rise. I get those. And then the people who are used to going to, going to Macau, going to Las Vegas, from Canada, oh, from US, city, yeah. these guys buy a lot as well. What I'm waiting for are the Chinese buyers because the Chinese came into the market around 2017 and now they've taken a back step. But of course, in between the Russians came, then UK, Europe, US, Canada, Australia, all of the, the money started pumping in from these areas. But I feel like when Win Casino comes, 2026, like uh, mid 26, 27, yes. 
that's when i feel like the chinese are going to come back yeah but they will come back for the secondary market ah yes so we need someone with a vision correct this is not the product that you should consider to resell before handover Yeah. You need to keep it. And this is the same story with skyscrapers here in Dubai. I know a lot of the uh, a lot of uh, realtors going to say, "Yeah, you can uh, take it, you resell it at 30%, 40%, 30% in tough. six months." You cannot. Tough. tough. It's tough. You cannot. We are tough. speaking about something luxurious. The mature price going to be when someone going to see it because you want your client to be an end user with money. You don't want to your client to be a um, uh, investor who's looking for a distressed deal. Right. Right? Right. So you have to make money. You have to sell uh, on hundred. That's why I started. I, I became very choosy about products now. I don't talk about every product. There are too many. There are too many products. Yeah. You know, there are too many developers. Every day there's a new developer. I mean, every day I today I saw some new developer. He was making some funny videos on TikTok about his project in Marjan Island. This one, <laughs> and, and I, I, I was like, so many developers. I've become very very choosy. Which developer brand name really matters? Yes. The brand name, like this is. friendly advice to any investor agent anyone out there brand see apart from location price per square foot demographic all of that brand name really helps when you're looking to trade that is why i always try and work with the big names imar damak shobha miras nakhil the big names because people know these names around the world you know so no it it uh, you're speaking uh, when you introduce the first time marjan island you're speaking about uh, nobu niki beach yeah. the address right correct, correct. if you look right now to their plots yeah. it's okay it sounds good but they don't have this layer of views nobu has come not on not anymore not not towards the uh, not towards the um, the casino nobu has towards the casino not <laughs> straight there like it, i mean it is I, I, a linked see, one but not from the best see two products that have straight view of the casino one is nobu one is uh, lux living by oceano developers yeah actually it's if you look a little bit better to the square yeah okay oceano is a little bit linked view towards the casino yeah. aston martin has aston martin has aston straight Mar- view. yes yes mm, uh the other ones A noble has, like, it's linked the yes. words, but is not in front of that. Oh, so Damak is in front. Damak is in front of that. Ah. Look better to the first square. Yeah, you have the first square. You go on the right next to Aston Martin before the Oceano. Okay. Uh, you have Damak. Well, I, I thought it was on the, the other side. I didn't. No. I didn't, oh, okay. 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 So you, I do have full view of full the view casino. completely from the bed. Oh, I'm cute. not facing the casino. I have direct views. Okay. From my bed to the casino, which okay. is massive. Now, why the address in, is in the other side? Yeah, address is a hotel. It has to be in the, the to stay in the hotel sectors. Though they had no choice. Okay. Correct. Correct. Um, uh, another competition of mine would be um, Ellington. Ellington is. Yeah. It's a big, of course, right? Big which brand. is next to uh, uh, to this very big uh, MR, but. More than that, I don't have a big competition when it comes to the plot. Rosso, I think Al, uh, Rob, uh, yeah, Aldar Rosso. The plot was a bit away. Yes. It was a bit away. No, yes. in terms of views, yes. you're in a very good position. And the small developers that you're talking about, they will stay in the middle with not even like they're not even waterfront. No beach access, not waterfront, but very good proximity, of course, because you are still in Marjan. So Island. this project has a private beach. Yeah, of course. That's really interesting. I have a private beach. I'm a single loading building. I haven't building. studied that project. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I haven't <laughs> studied the project. I was I see. Actually, Cavalli Couture really did catch my attention. Yes. And then I started studying that entire billionaire's row, and then I started studying the prices per square foot of these products. See, because I was fascinated by mansions. Again, there was space to make money. Now, similarly, this ultra luxury segment. What I like about the ultra luxury segment. is the kind of buyers I have to deal with as well. Yeah. It's so easy, you know, when you're in this particular when you're in this particular segment, right? This uh, let's say 2 to 5 million segment. It's really tough because your buyer is going to fight with you foot and nail to negotiate and you have to be a hard negotiator. So it'll be like 3.5, no, 3.7. No, 3.55. 
3.67 you are fighting you're negotiating you pay 2% i'm not going to pay your commission your commission is what i know that's oh, let's make it a number let's not make a percentage you know let's say, you know there were times where no jokes like i was trading a property okay i told my buyer i wanted to make more profit just don't give me commissions i just wanted to trade you know i'm happy i just wanted to be happy literally because you know there's so much of fight in that segment in this segment in this segment i can sell over whatsapp yeah i'm not even joking i'm just typing they don't know they don't want to talk they like how much is it you won't believe i've ha- i've dealt with some buyers they were like how much is how much is the two bed 8 million how much is the three bed 13 million uh which one do you think is better i'm like the three bed i just buy it. i don't care <laughs> yeah you know come come with me uh, come to me with a client for for cavalli couture i will right. go more into details but before to that First I'm selecting you're my buyer. Okay. I'm selecting you all the neighbors. You have only 95 units, exclusive units, branded, full with marble, amazing views, single loaded, on the water, everything you want. Bill in a row, okay? Okay. okay. It's not only selecting your neighbors. I'm selecting your clients. The clients for this kind of product, they're not the clients that going to negotiate because of 50,000 no, dirham. No, no, no. They're the clients that are going to come with cash yes. in the middle of the me unit because the girlfriend, the mistress, she likes I don't know what angle from the from the villa. I did I did. From the penthouse. <laughs> I didn't I didn't say that. That's a <laughs> welcome, that's a story behind. Welcome to Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> Habibi come to Dubai. <laughs> But that's a truth. So yeah. I'm selecting everything for you. Right. First the location is premium. Yeah. More than that. I'm on the billion row but I'm in the park in the pink rolls royce I'm in the park yeah okay yeah the access for me is very easy mm-hmm. I'm giving you the best views I'm giving you limited units right okay uh very high end finishes and if you want to go more into okay what we're going to select in the building for example okay We are speaking about a product that stays in around 2 3% as per offer on the market. Okay. okay? The competition for this kind of product is very very limited. Consider the other competition on the uh, billion euro it's almost sold out or sold out for most of the projects. So you okay. don't have a lot of options right now. Okay? But with this kind of project I'm going into uh, into uh, towards another uh, direction as a as a luxury you know this is really smart like for example i had some um i had some investors who got into the um luxury car rental services i'm giving an example <laughs> okay they came they came from uh, south africa and i'm like why are you entering into this business i'm like networking no yeah. no same thing with damac it makes sense if you get into this mar- into this market Can you imagine the kind of investors Damac is getting associated with? Of course. Right. The, uh, these are big names, big industrialists, entrepreneurs, crypto guys, you know, yeah. it, the real the real deal, you know. Yeah. So it's a very very interesting because see, you're not going to get that kind of a networking opportunity with uh, let's say a, a, a Violet. I'm I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not discriminating any any unit. Again, Violet also we dealt with some fantastic investors. amazing investors who picked it's up in bulk it's a different caliber it's a different caliber but but when you're dealing with something like a cavalli couture it's a whole different ball game you know yeah. these investors are your diamond investors you know who are going to constantly invest who need to sort of constantly have that cash flow you know who are looking for really really good safe prime products to invest in but even when it comes to that for my luxury and super luxury segment right mm-hmm. now and i will put in this only the penthouses and the mansions mm-hmm. i'm giving you a very good leverage because i'm 60 40 payment plan correct so even if you are an investor you're still entering the market with a price that will allow you to have even more investments correct. okay um if you are an end user like everyone wants to have the flexibility to pay more at uh, at completion and more than that i can help you to choose something which is a little bit more particular in my building for example if we go very deep into details i have only two properties with spiral interior stairs that's really nice that's really beautiful i love But those but there's only two properties if you right. ask my colleagues probably they will not know that 
But there are only two properties. Right. It's one six bedroom, one five bedroom. Forty one million, one hundred twenty six million. It looked like a palace in the sky yeah. or something. It was so yeah. beautiful. I saw those. That was really nice. Double ceiling. That's why because it goes up to nine meters. The in, inside. The s- yeah. Nine meters. Nine meters. Ceiling wow. to floor and gonna be for that side of the house right. nine meters so that means your stair is gonna be nine meters it's like a crazy product and what's the view the view gonna be towards uh bush khalifa and uh, the water like the the sea you know from there that angle actually the view is really nice because um on one side you've got downtown the other side you've got jumeirah so i i'll actually really like that location and if you look towards jumeirah was it's a very strict regulation when it comes to the height, height of, the, of building. the building. And more than that, you don't even have plots, empty plots to build. It's local. And most of them, they're not even freehold. Correct. Okay, so we, I'm speaking about something that will not change. It's like investing in Sheikh Zayed Road, you know. The Jumeirah is also, okay, the, again, fun fact, Jumeirah is local land. It's very, very difficult to get approval to sell freehold. When you're getting something freehold, I think they're very limited. There's Bulgari. Uh, if you look at Jumeirah Road, there's Bulgari. Uh, near Burj Al Arab, there's some construction, a few villas. At, then there's probably Madina Jumeirah living. Apart yeah. from that, I don't think there's anything else on Jumeirah no. that's freehold. Then you have the billionaires row, the new billionaires row, <laughs> the new billionaires, the new billionaires row. Yeah. Any any last any last? I think I've covered everything. I I, want, I just wanted to tell that this Cavalli's uh, new style was um, very uh, very impressive. I like the whole new outlook of Cavalli. That was that was amazing. That's about it. Do you have any questions for me? I will uh, not this time. Not this time. This <laughs> no. time will spare. Okay. Thank not you. Thank time. you so much. Okay. So thank you, Andrea. Thank you for having thank me. Thank you, Andrea. If you have any questions uh, regarding Damac, uh, regarding uh, the future of Dubai, regarding the billionaires row, regarding ultra luxury segment, please feel free to leave your comments down uh, below. And uh, thank you for watching. Mama Tahib and Andrea. I don't know your second name. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very tough name. It's C I O C C. It's Chok. Chok. Like chocolate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Andrea Chok. <Yes. laughs>